Hey there, how are you doing? Thanks very much for using my base center service to get in this uh, rather beautiful looking Bacchus um, HJB4. Um, so this is an Ikebe uh, limited edition uh, model. Uh, and this one's is quite special with the, cute, uh, the quilted maple top. Um, and the back is, I believe it's some kind of, um, it's probably, uh, it's similar to Alder in looks, but I don't think it is. It, it's like, a um, these are made in the Philippines. I think the, the wood that they use is, is local or native um, to the Philippines um, there on the body. And then uh, you've got maple, flame maple on um, hard rock maple neck there. Um, so this is one of the higher um, cost models that they had um, out at the time. And um, I believe these were about, when they came out, which is probably mid 2000s or something, if I remember rightly, um, this, this one with the, the ones with the fancier tops were something like 70,000, 80,000 yen, something like that in the, in the, in the shops in Ikebe. Um, which at the time the dollar was roughly dollar was uh, quite low back then so that was about um, that was maybe six hundred eighty dollars something like that without shipping but this one um, I found it on my it's it's in on my base hunter service so if you are interested in using that service you want something similar you can follow the link below um, but this is uh, because the dollar is so high, even with shipping, this is about $530, something like that. So let's go on the front pickup. This is active, so it's got a bass control here. Now let's go with just the just the bass all the way up and play that. Contrast just going balanced with everything dialed up. That's everything dialed up, right? balanced. Um, and then uh, let's take the uh, treble down to notch. It's very, uh, 
got really good tone actually. And then the rear pickup sounds sounds really good. Let's just take uh, the treble down and have the uh, bass boosted. It's a it's a very nice sounding bass actually, and um, that's partly a thanks to this. The, the bridge here is is a uh, it's a little bit like a, a, a copy of a of, of the um, um, hip shot A type bridge, right? It's sort of like a heavyweight bridge um, with the uh, saddles in their own. Um, they've got their own runners here um, with a nice thick metal plate. It doesn't have any springs in it though, which is, I think that's quite good actually, because springs can cause vibrations sometimes. Um, it does make it a little bit more awkward though to when, when it comes to adjusting for um, uh, the intonation. It's not quite as convenient as a spring-loaded type, uh, but it's got locks on it that uh, you can unlock it and then you can slide them back by hand, slide them back and forth by hand. And uh, it's in excellent condition. It's like it's. I would say it's, it's minty. It's near mint. It has very very few blemishes on it at all um, that you would notice on on first inspection. You, you'd look at it and you'd just think it looks new uh, when you look at it uh, for the first time. And then you'll notice like it's got a little. Uh, this will polish out out though. Um, so yeah, I mean it's really good. Um, the tuners are pretty bog standard, but they work. They do their job. Um, I think the pickups sound good. They're um, ceramic. Um, they're Bax's own pickups, and the preamp is Bax's own EB2 preamp, which I actually quite like. It reminds me a little bit of the um, XTCT voicing. Um, it's it's quite. Um, it's not so aggressive. It's a relatively smooth sounding preamp, uh, but it's got a good it's got a good voicing between the the, the bass and treble there. So yeah, it's it's a great bass, um, and uh, you know these don't cost that much money. They look the part. They're really nice to look at, um, and this one also has you know it's this this flame maple fretboard. Um, it's not like 5A flame or anything, it's uh, probably 3A. Um, the, the, the flaming on it is not so prominent, but it's definitely, definitely visible. Um, but the, the top is very nice. That's, that's actually a veneer. It's not a, a very thick top, it's a veneer. Um, but that's pretty prominent um, figuring there on the top. So it looks really good. And the fit and finish is excellent. So it's an incredible value for money, as usual, from backers. So there you go, guys. Um, that's it. That's the um, HJB4 Modern, um, which was an Ikebe uh, special model. Um, and, uh, yeah, I can get these uh, I can get these in used on my Base Hunter service if, you, uh, if you're interested. You can follow the link below and sign up, and uh, I'll see what I can get for you. All right. Cheers.